here I will try to change the image which may more look like it is shot in the morning or maybe at dusk. On the way you may also find some really good snapshot tricks which may be useful in editing landscape. So first I will start with decreasing the highlights and shadows i'll go to tune image i will decrease the highlights to get some details back from the sky also i will decrease the shadows here to make the darker parts little more dark so here i will apply it so you can clearly see now where the light is coming from it is coming from the right side so with keeping this in mind i will try to make the overall image darker i will go to vintage filter for this here i will increase the style strength and also vignette strength a bit and apply it now with little masking i will try to recover some light from the right side so i'll go to the stacks icon on the top view edits vintage and brush and with the effect applied here and with the transparency level at zero i will tap on the right side of the horizon so you can now see uh, record some light and also i will with the transparency level set at 50 i will brush it at the bottom So here you can see where the mask is applied now and I will apply this. Now I will try to add some color to the sky. I will be using curves for this. So I will go to curves. Here I would go to the color options. First I will set the preset to neutral and here I will be adding red and yellow. First I will go to red and drag the top point to the left so that it will affect the highlights so I will also drag the curve a little bit down so that it will affect only the brightest parts not the dark parts I will also add yellow here so the opposite of blue is yellow so with blue selected I will drag the pointer down and also drag the curve a little bit up so that it affects only the highlights. So now you can already see color getting added here. So I will apply this. Now I'll try to further boost the saturation of the sky. I will be using the selective filter. So here we'll add a little bit of saturation and also brighten it a bit. I'll also add one to this Empire State Building. I'll increase the structure, also the brightness a little. So I'll apply this. Here I will try to correct the white balance a bit. I will decrease the temperature a little and increase the tint. So I will add a little bit of red here. So it looks better now. And I will apply this. Now I will try adding little fog to the image. So how do we do that? Again, I will be using the curves tool here. With the RGB selected, I will try to crush the blacks. That is, move the lower point a little bit upwards. You can see all the blacks becoming grayish. So I will apply this. And with masking, stacks tool, view edits, 
the latest curves and brush. I will apply the effect on the horizon a little. So you can see the difference before and after. I will also remove the fog on the Empire State Building and with the transparency level at 25 I will brush it on this building. So now it appears the fog is only added on the background. So I will apply this. So here are the edits done, here is the original and here is the layer wise changes that happened. So this is the before and this is the after. Thanks for watching, catch you soon.